On the 7th of February, 1974, Diana Darby made a shocking appearance on The Benny Hill Show. It's from Madrid, the delectable Diana Darby! She left the viewers in awe, and you'll be shocked too when you find out why. This video reveals certain facts about the 1970s multifaceted star that may make you instantly addicted to her. But before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below saying I subscribed and we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. Diana is a multi-talented star. Diana Darby was one of the very few Hollywood stars who flawlessly wore many hats. She was known as an exceptional dancer, singer, and actress, and she managed to create and build a career that included all her talents. However, due to how competitive show business was in the 1960s and 1970s, upcoming actresses were often advised to niche down and stick to one craft to be able to grow their career faster, but this wasn't the case for our star. She went with her gut and became successful anyway. There is no record of Diana undertaking any formal education to learn these skills that she possessed, but somehow she easily became one of the best 1960s actress, dancer, and singer. Of all the stars who possessed multiple talents at the time, Diana was one of the very few who was able to boldly tap into all her talents and find platforms of expression for them all. At the age of 17, she began her quest to become one of the greatest entertainers by performing in Bath, one of the largest cities in Somerset, England. Even though she was inexperienced at the time, she took her talents to a musical comedy stage production, which was designed for family entertainment. From 1962 to the 1990s, Diana made a name for herself in show business as a highly creative person who had a way of surprising her audience every time she revealed one of her many talents. She was also known as one of the few actresses who could speak over five languages fluently. In a later interview, Diana mentioned that even though she had been a highly creative person right from childhood, her mother, Pamela Cooper, who was a theater entertainer, inspired her to tap into her talents and find a way to express herself to the world. When it comes to multifaceted stars, Diana tops the chart. She is a core optimist. All through Diana's career, she performed on stages and in movies so excellently that most people were oblivious to her personal struggles. Many years before Diana became an established entertainer, she went through her fair share of life's challenges. When she was just two years old, her father passed away, and this was the most devastating experience Diana had to go through, especially at such a young age. She never disclosed the cause of his death, but it was evident how much the loss of a father at such a tender age affected her. After her father's death, her mother eventually remarried. Diana also faced a lot of rejections in the beginning of her career. In fact, she performed as a solo entertainer for several years before she got an opportunity to appear in a notable film at time. However, despite all the challenges life threw at her, she never stopped fighting for the life and career she desired. Diana is a top-notch performer. When Diana eventually ventured into show business as a teenager, she started with stage performances like pantomime dances in England. A few years later, she became part of a London ballet group. She later got involved in revista performances and musical theater productions before she eventually ventured into film by appearing in The Benny Hill Show. Diana was known to always captivate her audience within the first few seconds of her performances. Most people who witnessed her performance attested to the fact that she had a unique way of grabbing her audience's attention and her performances were always fun and interesting to watch. Even when she appeared on stage with a group of people, she always stood out from the rest and managed to become the audience's favorite. In fact, it was during one of her stage performances in Madrid in the early 1970s that actor and writer Benny Hill spotted her exceptional performance and decided to cast her for his renowned The Benny Hill Show. Diana has an amazing work ethic. Even though Diana was known to have a bright, energetic, and playful personality on and off stages, she had an amazing work ethic. She knew when it was time to play around and when it was time to get serious. The level of professionalism with Diana approached the jobs and gigs she got reflected how important her career was to her and how much she valued her audience no matter the size. She wasn't one to give excuses, and if she made a commitment to show up and perform at an event or on set, she would show up, come hell or high water. A phenomenal designer. It is rare to hear of an actress who designed her own costumes for some of her movie roles. 
When Diana Darby made her first appearance on The Benny Hill Show on the 7th of February 1974, she instantly captured the attention of her viewers who became her fans immediately. Her versatility became evident in the way she sang continental music standards on the show, did belly dances, and performed continental cabarets with Hill. However, one thing about her that wowed the audience even more was her dressing. Most of the viewers of the show didn't know that she designed most of the showstopper costumes that she wore on the show. Diana was the only actress on Hill's show who designed her outfits by herself, and she designed them so well that each of her costumes wowed the audience as much as her performances did. One of her most unforgettable costumes was the one she wore on the first day she appeared on The Betty Hill Show. It was said to be a gravity-defying costume. She has an adventurous spirit and daring personality. Right from a young age, Diana never held herself back when it came to doing the things that she loved. She didn't let fear or self-doubt stop her from becoming all she dreamed to be. Even till date, she is remembered as one of the most charismatic and bold entertainers in the history of television. She was also aware of the immense gifts that she possessed, so she didn't let the naysayers discourage her at any point in her career. Also, Diana had an adventurous spirit. She was hardly in one city for longer than a month. She was always ready to hop on a bus and explore the next adventure that life had in store for her. She always saw the bigger picture. Diana's major goals and dreams didn't come to pass immediately, she started putting in the work. In fact, she had to take on odd jobs in the 1960s to support herself while she was working as a performer in musical theaters and other platforms. In one of her later interviews, she revealed that one of the side jobs she took on required her to wear funny-looking costumes and perform on the streets. She also understood the concept of delayed gratification. She performed in groups for years before she started getting opportunities to express her talent independently. Because she persevered through her process and journey on her way to the top, she was able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. She spread her talent across the world. Diana Darby did not limit herself to her home country. She was on a mission to spread her talents across the world and put a smile on the faces of thousands of people through her beautiful performances. All through her career, she traveled to Sweden, Germany, Spain, and many more countries. Even till today, she is remembered all across the world for her bold representation of what entertainment should be. Unfortunately, Diana Darby passed away in 1995, but her legacy lives on. Which of these facts about Diana Darby caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comment section below and check out the next video in this series.